guys, it's Wednesday and halfway through the week already. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, um, today I have to figure out how to do the bills that I need to do tomorrow so that I can do them efficiently and um, get everything ready that I have to do tomorrow for Friday so that I can do that efficiently so that eventually I'll be able to just do it on the day that it's supposed to be done. <laughs> so basically I'm learning what I need to do the next day for the next day if it's a special day for some reason like special bills or taxes or whatever so that I can be efficient at it when the time comes as opposed to winging it on the day and stressing out and all of that. I don't want to do that. So as I'm going, I'm making myself extensive notes from what I'm learning. It's working out a lot better this way than trying to learn from somebody who is scattered. She, she had her own notes and she did a good job for herself, but I have uh, trouble deciphering what it was she told me and what she wrote down. So I'm going to make my own notes and then eventually make a book so that anybody can sit down, go through the book and do the job. If in the event that I should take another job and leave, although I don't see me doing that because I really like this job. Anything short of me needing something I'm not getting from her as far as like benefits or respect or something like that, it's the only thing I think that would probably make me leave because I'm usually really loyal to a job. As long as I feel there's a reason to remain that way, if that makes sense. Um, oh, I did. <laughs> I woke up this morning. Um, apparently, Brianna is not feeling well, and so I told her she needs to go to the free clinic because she doesn't have insurance right now, and, and uh, I'm not even going to try to go into that with her because she won't do it anyway. Um, but... Uh, I told her to get up and go so first thing in the morning so that she doesn't have to wait all day. And um, she's still in bed, of course, and it's 8.30. And I told her she should have been gone an hour ago, but whatever. Anyway, she's got her dog in her room with her, which is fine. But all the squirrels in the neighborhood are now inside the dog pen. <laughs> which I found extremely funny this morning. They're just all walking around inspecting and inside the doghouse, outside the doghouse. I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're trying to see where the food's at so they can make their plan of attack and snatch the food. That's what I'm thinking. They weren't as brave to come up by the house, but since her house is out there, I think they're a little more brave when she's not around. That might be a point of contention for the dog. <laughs> So, uh, I wanted to say, in case nobody has noticed yet, or if you don't follow uh, Philip DeFranco, we have a new baby. Him and his woman has hatched their little hatchling, and uh, we have baby DeFranco. So, congratulations to Phil and Lindsay on your baby. He is beautiful. You did a good job. And uh, a little tip for... Philip, um, when you change diapers, you should probably have a towel with you. Yeah, he's a boy. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> my plan was to plant plants this weekend, and I may still go ahead and buy some. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in the ground yet or not, because, like I said, I'm testing this to see if the rules are going to be followed and the dog is only in the dog pen, because last night... When Bree was in the house, the dog was out roaming the whole yard, and I told her, I said, the dog's not in her pen, and she's like, she's going to my house. Well, I let that one slide. That's the only one that's going to slide, though, because it can't be habit. I'm not going to put a bunch of dollars worth of plants in the ground for the dog to eat. I'm not doing it. Um, I will, however, make things different if I have to. I'm going to let you go, so if anything exciting happens, I'll be back, and if not, I will see you tomorrow. Bye!